Hi, I'm Mike again at Chicago WebConf. I'm sitting down with JC Grubbs, who's one of the lead organizers at Chicago WebConf. And uh, well, thank you for taking the time to sit down with me. Sure. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what your what the Chicago WebConf is? Sure. Um, so this is our this is our second year, and it's basically um, kind of a conference focused on anything in the front end. Okay. Um, so front end web development. We More cover, UX, CUI. Yeah, so it covers everything from user experience and design. Um, we cover you know all the kind of designy side of things, mm -hmm. but also technology. So HTML5 and CSS3 and JavaScript and all kinds of JavaScript libraries. We had a guy this morning talking about um, porting Node packages to, mm -hmm. to run uh, in the browser. So it's really about everything that runs in the browser, which okay. is, yeah. So, you know, I know you, you, you're a developer on the front end and the back end. You've been to conferences that are maybe more r spec -y, like from the Rails conferences where they're talking more about um, you know, back end. Well, r spec wouldn't be just a back end con concept. But, but how might you compare um, a more back end application development kind of conference to what you're doing here with the UI and, and front end? Sure. It's an interesting mix. Um, so the, the first thing is, you know, sort of everyone has to deal with the front end, right? So whether you're a Java developer or a Ruby developer, everyone has to deal with the browser. Mm -hmm. So uh, from an audience perspective, we get a, a really broad range of people that come from all kinds of different different backgrounds. The other interesting thing is that we have both a design and UX component and a technical technical component, which brings a, another layer of mix to it and you have designer types and developer types kind of getting together which doesn't happen at a lot of conferences from, from my experience so it's it's uh it's kind of a, a melting pot yeah and you have you have a multi-track event going on here three three tracks yep. and uh do you try to like say one track is for designers one track is for devs uh well this year we were a little constrained on the space, so we, we try to keep a good mix of the two. Um, we want people to have options, um, and if, if a developer wants to stay in the sort of developer-focused uh, mm -hmm. sessions, that we, we try to not overlap them uh, as much as possible, but, um, but there's pretty much a, a mix of the two going on at any one point in the, in the day. So, okay. uh, and, I, and from our experience last year, a lot of people cross over, so there's a lot of Developers that go to design UX tracks and, and vice versa. Yeah, was, that was going to be my next question: is is do you see a lot of cross pollination? And and in the audience, uh, you have this big kind of open area. We're at, we're at 1871, which is a a, a big open uh, workspace. So you have lots of you have a lot of hallway interaction. Have you uh, made any plans with the scheduling to? Is that something? Yeah, so we have uh, we made sure we have a good ten minute block between each session, mm -hmm. um, and then there's an hour for lunch, obviously, so there'll be a lot of networking time there. Uh, there's a thirty minute break in the afternoon, uh, which we intentionally wanted to do um, just to break the day up, but also mm -hmm. to give people a mingling mingling time. Um, that was something that people asked last year uh, that they really liked the, the time that they had to interact with everybody. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, we have an after party, which is also going to be here um, from seven p.m. till whenever. So when they get <laughs> whenever <yeah>. people <laughs> stop drinking. Um, <laughs> And uh, and so yeah, there's we tons of networking time. So um, content and and meeting new friends is like the big thing that, that people go to conferences for, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and one one thing that I've noticed here you know, versus um, some other conferences, and it has come up at, at in some of the conversations I've had with people, is that there is a uh, looks like to me a better representation of female attendees uh, and and. and Minority attendees. Is that something that's? Uh, do you think that was an intentional thing? Did you reach out to different groups or? So, it was kind of a happy surprise, honestly. Yeah. Um, so this year we did pursue some presenters, uh, mm -hmm. some female presenters that that you know I had come across throughout the year and I really wanted to have at the conference. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as attendees go, um, we just kind of threw the doors open, and I think with. You know the, the sort of melting pot effect that I was talking about before. I think that kind of draws all different um, different folks. So yeah, I've been really really happy with the the uh, yeah. The it's thing. it's nice to see. Yeah, it's nice to see a nice variety of people that's very representative of, of a population, mm -hmm. not just one uh, uh, rural culture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for taking yeah. the time to speak with me. Absolutely appreciate it.